You're taking a look at the the wave and tide exhibit at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. It's one of the fun things to experience here. Hi, I'm Maggie Skira. Welcome back to Comcast Newsmakers and many thanks to the Monterey Bay Aquarium for hosting us. And if you haven't been here in a while, as always, something new, educational, exciting and fun. So come on out if you haven't been in a, in a week or two. There's always something new. For the next few minutes, we're going to talk about math. Do not run away. It's exciting and something that you will be excited about. Our guest is Joshua Zucker, and he's director of the Julia Robinson Math Festival. In addition to many other things, give people a little bit of an idea about your background. Right, well, I, I was a school teacher for a number of years, and now I'm more interested in promoting mathematics through events like the festivals to students who maybe are excited about mathematics and might be a little bit bored by school math and looking for something more fun and exciting and open-ended. Uh, so the festivals are organized through the Mathematical Sciences Research Institute, which is up in Berkeley. And they have a huge program of research mathematics and fields medalists visiting and all kinds of workshops going on for the really elite professionals up there. But they also take very seriously the idea that Mathematics is something everybody should enjoy, and they do all kinds of different public events about mathematics and music, and mathematics in the theater, um, and also the mathematics festivals and math circles. There's a whole range of programs for people of all ages. Well, we want to thank them from our perspective, us non-mathematicians who may have a little bit of you know, fear <laughs> about why are people frightened about math? Yeah, well. I think the fear a lot of times comes from the fact that the way math is presented, it's as though you're always expected to know the answer to the whatever exercise you're working on. You get the exercise and you're supposed to have learned how to do it and you feel like you're failing if you don't already know how to do it, which is really the opposite of how things are in real mathematics, which is where you're, you're bored and you're failing if you're working on something that anybody knows how to do. And so through these kinds of math events like math circles and math festivals, we want to show people that it's okay if you don't know the answer, that it's much more fun and exciting if there's a real problem to solve where you don't know what's going to happen next. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, what we do in school is about dribbling a basketball up and down the court, and if you're dropping the ball, you've failed. But what real mathematics is like is dribbling the ball with a defender there, and you're creating things on the spur of the moment and improvising and seeing what you can discover about new ways of doing things. So this is how you get kids involved through the, the math circles and so forth? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the, the circles are generally led by professional mathematicians who are taking time to work with kids and with school teachers also. There's a whole range of levels of, of math circles um, and trying to share their excitement of why it's so much fun by giving the students things that are accessible. They can feel like they can get some kind of start on, but that nobody's gonna feel like they're finishing and there's always lots of depth remaining to be explored beyond what they encounter in the, the sessions that they attend. And so they can go home and have as much more to think about as they want to. So tell us a little bit about the, the festivals and uh, who can be involved and how do they do it? Right, so the festival started about uh, four years ago um, and have been hosted at places like Google and Stanford University and Pixar and UC Berkeley. Um, and we have hundreds of kids come and instead of, you know, the typical kind of event for people who are interested in math is more like a math contest. And we wanted to take the opposite perspective of that. So we fill a big room with tables, we bring in several hundred kids and a whole bunch of professional mathematicians and we put interesting math on the tables and the, the kids wander around when they find something interesting they sit down and work on it by themselves or with each other. And they have a professional mathematician <laughs> sitting right there so that when uh, they run into something really tough, they can start to talk about, well, you know, what, what ideas can we find about how to go forward from here? And we're bringing something of the same kind of spirit to the Bay Area Science Festival, which is coming up this fall. Okay, and with that, we're going to uh, direct people to the website, we will show them to, and uh, you can find out the information by following that link and see how you can get involved. And don't be afraid, right? Exactly. Don't be afraid. It's fun. Really, <laughs> we will all dive in, we have to. Thanks for joining us and giving us the information. That's it for now on Comcast Newsmakers.